Hello friends, uh, welcome again and uh, this is my new project event ticket booking system and I have developed this project in Python, Django and MySQL. The version for the Python I'm using is the Python version 3 and the Django version is 2 and the MySQL version is 5.6. Also for connecting Python and Django with MySQL, I'm using the MySQL connector which you will get easily from the mysql.org website. And even if you are using pip, then you can also uh, install PyMySQL using the pip module. For uh, uh, front-end development, because it's a web-based application, so for front-end development, I'm using the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Java, some of the jQuery library also I have used, like uh, creating drop-down menus, uh, integration of the date calendars, and many more things I have used to jQuery plugins. Also, this is a bootstrap theme, means if you Resize the screen, then the then the UI will be fit according to the screen size. So this is all about the technology syntax, which I have used for developing this project event ticket booking system. So let's start with the functionality go through. So the project title is event ticket ticket booking system, and it's a mini project and uh, mini DBMS Python Django and MySQL project. Right. So this is the home page of the project. You can see this is the simple sore home page, and if you want to change the image, then you can change it directly from the HTML. This is the about the project and it's also a static page. There is nothing dynamic on this page, but if you want to uh, means change the content, then you can change it from the about.html, which is available in the templates folder. This is the event. So all of the events and this all events are coming from the database. So currently there are 10 events available, but if you want to add more, then you can directly add into the database. So this 10 events is available and it's all coming from the database, right? And if you click on the book ticket, then you will be able to book the ticket. But there is a restriction that without login inside the system, you will not be able to book the ticket. This is a login from where admin will be able to log in and perform certain operations. It means customer will be able to log in and perform certain operation. There is no login for the admin. Only customer login is there inside the system. Right? This is the registration. And if you doesn't have the user ID and password, then you can uh, create your own user ID and password from here and after that you will be able to log in from the login page. This is a contact us page and this is a simple so contact us page and I'm not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database even I'm not sending any type of email SMS from this page, right? So this is a contact us page. So I'm going to log in. So the username is customer and the password is test. So once you log inside the system, this is the dashboard customer dashboard so what the customer can see customer can see my tickets all of the tickets what the customer has booked will be able to see here even he can view the tickets from here also so you can see this is the view ticket right so you can view any of the ticket this is a my account from where customer can update his account details and those details will be updated into the database as well this is a change password from where customer will be able to update his account password right Okay, so now, now I am going to book event. So this is a book ticket and the ticket cost is 2000 rupees and uh, date I am going to book is for 17th and quantity of ticket I want to book three, right? So once you click on the book ticket, then the total amount has been calculated automatically. That is a 6,000 and it's asking for, this is the local payment gateway type of things, right? I'm not uh, sending any type of, even if this is not a real time payment gateway, even I'm not sending your details just extra, uh, from on any of the external URLs, right? So no need of entering the correct credit card details here, just enter any type of things, any type of details here and choose the card type, expiry date and uh, all of the things. So once you make the payment, then you will get your ticket successfully here, right? So ticket ID is 20 and this is the date confirmed and all of the things you will get here right so once if you want to print ticket just click on the print ticket and that ticket will be printed from the connected printer which you have right and you can see this all of the tickets what you have booked from here right so this is the last ticket which you have booked and once you click on the view ticket you will be able to see the ticket details right this is a logout functionality so once you log out from the system then all of the session will be destroyed and the above menu is totally session driven it will not be displayed because session will be expired let me show you so if you log out then you can see the 
above administration menu is not displaying means customer administration is not displaying but if you log inside the system then the above at customer administration is displaying right so this is all about my project event ticket booking system right it's a mini project that's why it has only and only customer login but if you need admin login functionality in this project then just put it into comment all of the requirements which you need extra in this project i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much